One of my hard drives failed and it had over two terabytes worth of my stuff saved to it. Fortunately, I saw this coming over a week ago and I was able to migrate all of my data from here over to another hard drive before it failed. You might be asking how I saw this coming. I'll show you. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on check. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to use a free tool to check the smart data on a drive to make an educated guess about the health of the drive. In this video, I'm going to show you an advanced tool so that you don't even have to guess. But before we get started, check out our sponsor. Do all of your friends call you a loser for using a sus copy of Windows? Then stop being a zero and get ready to be a hero by getting a valid copy of Windows 10. With all the bells and whistles a future superstar like you needs, you might be thinking to yourself, Eh, Pro Edition costs $200, see? No. If you follow the link in the description to VIPCDKDeals.com, you can get yourself a Windows 10 Professional Edition for $22.50. Wow! You think that's great? Well, if you use coupon code NK25, you get 30% off. That brings the price of Windows 10 Professional to $15. Wow! All major payment methods accepted, including PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. Once you have your license key, open Settings, then System, About, then Change Product Key. Simply copy and paste your new key and then click next and then you are Gucci, my friend. Now the tool that I'm going to talk to you about today is called Hard Disk Sentinel, which you can get at the link in description. This is a very powerful IT technician tool that lets us monitor in real time the status of our hard drives as well as perform diagnostics. Over here on the left I have all of my drives, my SSDs, and it even can see the individual disks of my RAID array. I have two one terabyte SATA SSDs here that form a, a RAID 0, so they're basically a two terabyte drive, and Windows can only see them as a single drive, but I can see them here as the RAID array here, <clears throat> but I can also see them as individual drives for the purpose of smart information and diagnostics. Now smart is what we were able to see on Crystal Desk Info, but that was the limitation of that app. Here we can see real-time temperature as well as logging it, disk performance, but here's the best part. We under the disk section, we can change the advanced power management, and then also we have advanced IT level diagnostics. So we can perform short tests, extended tests, random seek tests, and then surface tests. Now the surface test will test every single part of the physical disk platter. This also works on, on SSDs because we also need to see how many of those are no longer, how many of the cells are no longer working. But on this hard disk drive, it's testing every single sector of the drive and finding if there's some are damaged, some are bad. And the best part is on this new version 6.01, if it does find errors that the drive couldn't fix itself, this program knows how to fix those issues and can repair a drive that you might otherwise be throwing away. Now being able to gather very specific information regarding the failure of a drive or potential failure of a drive is very paramount if you're running a business or if someone is paying you to diagnose their computer and if you're telling somebody that their hard drive is failing or broken, you're essentially telling them that they are going to spend money. So you don't want to be put in a situation where you can't articulate to another IT that's giving a second opinion why you recommended that their client purchase a new drive and replace it. Now when you're diagnosing a computer and you have a client, then they want you to check if their hard drive's okay because they want to know if their data needs to be migrated. Well, you need to be able to articulate that and the best way to do that is with a report. I have the hard disk selected here, then I click report and then I can save text report. And I've already put it there. Now, once I've saved it, I've made a text file here. It has all the information of the computer that's been t this tested this. It has all the information from the report, all the information from any tests I did, all the results, the current state of the drive, and it's essentially everything that's in here, as well as the results of any tests that I performed. So this is um, irrefutable proof of the state of the drive, so it's not just me eyeballing it and saying, hey, it's made a click sound, it must be time to change the drive, when that may or may not be true. Now the version I'm using, which is Sentinel Pro, I have the ability to have this run at the startup and it's always monitoring. If you look down at the bottom of my screen, this is all the status of my drives at all times. So no matter what's going on, it, when I'm using the computer, I'm doing my thing, I'm gaming, if anything goes wrong with any of my drives, there's some kind of new alert, some kind of new failure, then I'm going to get instantly alerted so that I'm not surprised when the drive is suddenly no longer working. I get advanced warnings on any of the drives health including my SSDs. With SSDs it's very important because they don't last forever. Yes they're more reliable because they have no moving parts but all of the cells on an SSD have a, have a finite number 
of writes. And when you start reaching that, you need to start replacing the drive. So with my SSD here, I have a health of 99%, which it's a relatively new drive, but it gets a lot of use on video editing and gaming. So it's, it's at 99, but when this thing starts getting to 70% and 50%, I, I should really start replacing the drive. Now, a really cool feature of Hard Disk Sentinel Pro is that, yeah, I have all of this information here. I can read all of this. I can see that this threshold is not this value. But what if I want to compare it to how everyone else is on this exact drive? If I click up here to verify online, it's going to compare my exact model of hard drive against all these other people. So for instance, this one has 378 other reports from other users, and I can compare my results to theirs. Now let's assume that your hard drive has failed. This has a feature that is called panic backup, which is where the drive has failed, but it's somehow still usable. This can perform kind of like a, a forensic lab kind of emergency recovery where the drive doesn't have to fully initialize. I can't demonstrate it because it only works when that situation happens, but I did use it and it works very well. That's particularly good when you have like a failed C drive and you take that drive out to another computer and you load up Sentinel so that you can get your data off. It'll get that off you. Also, if you have a secondary drive and it just it's, it's, it's dying, it doesn't work right, this will still help you get that data off. Ideally, you should be listening to the warnings that pop up so that you can just replace a drive before that happens. But, you know, things happen. Now, if you go to the link in the description and click the buy, you'll see there's the product comparison of the different versions of Sentinel. So there's the trial version, which is completely free. And this basically does the same thing as every other free application for testing hard drives, such as Crystal Disk Info. It'll give you the smart information, the basic status, um, and the space details. Now, if you go up to the standard, it's gonna give you a bit more features, such as you know a surface check and some basic things that might come with um, basically a subscription of Norton or a disk utility, so it'd have a bit more. The professional edition, which I'm using now, will do all of what I'm talking about, including network attached storage and all different types, pretty much everything you would need to do in an IT environment. Um, so there's nothing you would need more than that. However, there is a version above that, which is enterprise, but that's if you're like in a data center or in an IT department, a corporate environment, where you need to do this kind of stuff from a laptop at home, uh, remoting into work or up to the server farm. So, I mean, this is this is commercial and this is a completely different animal. Um, right here, the, the professional, this is all you'll need as an IT. Standard is fine, but the thing is, is it's only like 10 bucks difference. So I don't see why you would save 10 bucks to lose out on all of the advanced features that essentially give you the power of an IT tech department. Oh hi, I didn't notice you there. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time.